Telford Exotic Zoo's Virgin Births. A lizard leaves staff stunned by giving birth to eight hatchlings without mating. Still to come, it's been described as one of the rarest events in the animal kingdom. We'll meet the iguana in Shropshire, who's given birth without even mating. Now, well, it's being called Telford's Exotic Zoo's Virgin Birth. A lizard who last month gave birth to eight hatchlings, but without mating. Staff there say that they're stunned, calling it one of the rarest events in the animal kingdom. Phil Mackey has more. The first glimpse of an extremely rare phenomenon. And you can pack a lot of iguana into a small egg. This female cask-headed iguana and its siblings are really rare. And not just because they've hatched in Telford instead of the Central American rainforest, their mum hasn't mated with a male and the eggs weren't fertilised. Instead, they were born through parthenogenesis, a type of asexual reproduction. But no one expected it to happen here. They're quite new to our collection. We've not bred them before um, and we've just had a female, which obviously we wouldn't expect to be having babies because we've only got a female. Um, and recently she started laying eggs. We ended up putting them in the incubator because we had it on with various other eggs in there. And we just popped them in just to see, you know, what had happened. So obviously you can imagine our surprise when out come eight healthy little, very cute babies. And because there was no male iguana involved, the new arrivals are clones of their mum who's called Carol. This one is about three weeks old now. It's identical in every way to its mum. It's already got a new home. It's going to be moved to another zoo, not too far away from here, and it could live in captivity up to 10 years. Today, there was a chance to show them off to visitors. I thought it was interesting to see, wasn't it? Yeah. I hadn't seen one before. Really fascinating how it can like clone itself almost. It's just so interesting that an animal can do something this amazing to save itself in the wild. Zoos are so, you know, we're, we're so um, focused on conservation and, you know, saving animals in the wild now. So it's just an amazing story to see how animals sometimes can kind of like do it all on their own without our help. And after all the excitement, it was time for mum to go back to her home and for her baby to rejoin her seven siblings in time for lunch. Phil Mackey, BBC News, Telford. Amazing. Maybe it's the future.